Hey my little stars and plants, it's me Chibi Saturn here, and welcome back to Tears of the Kingdom. We last left off doing a whole bunch of depth stuff. I came up here to ask this guy for another brethren location, but this is what he tells me. You already know the location of all my brethren. So that's it? I found them all? Well, I guess it makes sense, because the last one unlocked the Tunic of Memories. Which we bought, right? We bought the Tunic of Memories? Yes, we did. Ah, the Tunic of Memories. Oh, the memories that come flowing back to me. Um, is there anything you need me to do while I'm here? Oh, no, Princess Zelda is disappeared. Might be connected to depths. So I'll continue researching. All right. Well, um, I wanted to continue doing depths, you know, doing, you know, light routes and whatnot. Um, but part of me wants to do the mazes, or at least attempt to do the mazes. So that's what we'll try to do for the next, like, two episodes-ish. We're gonna start with this one, the one at Hiteno. So we'll go up here real quick. All right, we should be able to fly to there from here because... Well, especially with Tulin, because he'll give us a nice little push. I don't know exactly how we're going to get to the upper part, or what? Um, or the lower part? I don't know. I've never been- I haven't been in any of these, so this is going to be quite the adventure, because I have literally no clue what I'm walking into. Okay, got some ice fruits. Research log, day one. It took us two days to reach this isolated land. Through the, Though the ruins stood before us, we were too exhausted to explore. Though wary, Taro was able to decipher the Zonai writing on the stone slab. The dragon ring slumbers in the labyrinth's depths. Wake it, and ye shall receive due compensation. Well, his translation provided me with renewed vigor, Taro shortly thereafter fell ill with fatigue. After seeing him fall on his way home, I swore to tackle the ruins myself. The acorns and nuts I have prepared to mark my path should see to that I do not get lost inside. Though I, I am alone, I need to work hard enough for both Taro and myself. Okay, so I have to follow his path of acorns and nuts. Well, there's one acorn here, and then there's another acorn way over there. I saw glimmering. Okay, well, there's more acorns this way. I'm gonna turn this off. I know it's detecting treasure chests, but it's annoying. Right now, I'm just trying to focus on figuring out this whole maze's deal. Acorn here. Oh, the acorns go this way. I'm assuming I just follow the acorns for now? Oh shit. Yeah, I don't remember that pit being there. I'm also not gonna pick up these uh, acorns just in case we need them to be our, our guide for later. Ah, acorn. Cause this is cool. Like I, I like the I, I like the fact that there's both there's there's like the mazes are like underground and above ground. But I'm just also wondering what the fuck does that mean? Cause you need a manly man's. Uh... Ooh. Day two. I walk carefully, avoiding the stirring gloom. Just one touch, and it will invade the body in the blink of an eye. It was a wise decision to send Taro home. Allowing him to continue our trek in his condition may have proven fatal. But what exactly is this strange gloom? More importantly, have they found the princess and her swordsman who delved beneath Hyrule Castle to investigate it? I can only pray for their safety. Aw, thanks, my dude. I'm coming for you. I I'm coming to make sure you're safe. The hero is on his way. 
Uh oh. Oh no. I, okay. I thought I lost the path for a second there. Oh. Ladder. Okay, we're, we're on the right path. So wait, the path was just leading me up here to where the the middle of the maze is? I know a shortcut, unless the shortcut's flooded. So I didn't... Well, maybe I, I did, because the, the maze seems to have changed a little. Not a lot, but a little. Maybe. I don't know. Uh-huh. Research log day three. My search has finally led me to a zone I relic. I must hurry back and tell Taro all about it. Though I must admit, my curiosity remains piqued. I'm not sure if I'm quite ready to leave these ruins. For instance, I can see a lower level from this room. Just how is how is one supposed to reach it? Okay, well, maybe you're supposed to use this. My Zonai power. For you who have conquered this labyrinth of the land, I, the ruler of dragons, have unlocked the door. Find it on the south side of the labyrinth of the sky. Okay, the Loman Prophecy? Excuse me? Hold on. Wait, this is a side quest, not a side adventure? Well, then it can't be that long. Okay. Well, well, hold, okay, we're gonna put a, um, I still have some teleports left, right? Yeah, I collected them. Place. I'm gonna place this here. Now, he said the door is on, where did he say the door was? Visit the south side of the labyrinth of the sky. Right. But there is a... Okay, we'll go to the sky. We'll, I was going to jump down to the depths, but he wants me to go up to the sky. Oh, shit. I didn't even... I almost didn't see the shrine here. I was so focused on my task ahead. Okay, well then I can collect this. Yeah, because cause in Breath of the Wild, you could go through here, and then I'm pretty sure there was like a, a pathway or a secret pathway to go around here. So I didn't have to... I didn't have to go through all that bullshit. Maybe it's changed so you can't just go through here and get up there. Okay, let's see if we can't get up to that sky island from here. Can I not ascend up, up there? If push comes to shove, I can just summon my flying device. But they opened the thing here so I'm like yeah okay well I think I need my flying device Lome sky labyrinth oh and it's got low gravity that's gonna make this easier considering that this labyrinth doesn't have a bottom I think right yeah it looks like it doesn't have a bottom Oh, and there goes my flying machine. Not that I need it now. Because we got this. Alright, alright, alright. Okay, what is the great prophecy here? To you who step foot in my labyrinth of the sky, I offer a test of wisdom. Four terminals are hidden in this maze. Activate all of them. Okay, then. Alright. Oh, and there's air, too? Okay. That makes things a little bit easier. Okay, so where are these terminals? Okay, one's over here. One is close to here. So let's see if we can't find it. Yeah, there is no... No floor, so I gotta be careful. And this is gonna be, yeah, this is gonna be tricky. Because, uh... I hear the 
freaking music too, so I know something something silly is going on here. It sounds like the doesn't it sound like the um the Guardian piano music? Where's my air? There was air originally. Oh, there it is. Okay, the air only takes you up so far. Okay, oh fuck, Link. Ooh. Okay, so... I'm trying... Because, like, I'm just kind of hopeful... Oh, hmm. So these platforms are platforms we can land on. I'm trying to see... I'm hoping that this is like a straightforward maze and it isn't like the ground one where there's like parts of it hit the maze hidden because of undercarriage things. Uh... I do not... Let's... Hold on, let's go over here. Platform there, and then, ah, so there's an another platform here. So these are platforms we can get on top of. Okay, so these things are platforms, these light gray ones, but then these line ones here are barriers? Yeah. Oh, their barriers have to go under. Oh, jeez, they take me up. Okay, hold on. Where am I now? Okay, I'm very close to one of the terminals. Okay, according to this, the terminal is right underneath me. Awesome. That's one. Alright. Come on. Give me some air. Okay, it's not giving me that much air. Do I have to get up through here? Oh ho! Yeah, but this is oh, but this is a fucking dead end. Oh no, it's not. So we can travel back through here. And then travel through here. Uh huh. Ooh, treasure chest. Oh, the Zonite bow. Um. I think it's better than this. Hold on. Oh, yeah, it's better. Okay. Um. Okay, there's a block. There's a blocking our way here so we would have to if we we're gonna go through here we have to go back we'd have to go back the way we came okay There we go. Got some air. Oh wait, no. Not this way. We gotta go the other way. Okay. Another ledge we can take here. It doesn't give us much air. Oh, we have to go down anyways. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, I think we can make it from here. They are being very generous with the altitude. 
of the air. And because of the low gravity, we are given a little bit of a, like a, <laughs> a safety net. There we go. Now I have to get all the way back over here. Can I do that from here? Actually, I could probably run straight on over to this one from here. If we... Oh, hold on. How much air does this give us? Not much. Okay. So... Go back up this way. And then it should be a somewhat straight shot from here. You got to do a couple corners, but can I get some air from here? Not a lot. Oh, every time I say that, I turn the corner and then there we go. Here we go. And that's the third terminal. Awesome. Now we just gotta go do this one, so... Fuck, there's no getting... If I leave, if I teleport to this, will it reset? That'd be a bitch, but it's just because I don't want to backtrack all the way. Because... Unless I can get up through here? Yeah, because these are usually platforms, so... If I could get on here, I could take this down back to that way or yeah okay let's go back the way we came and see if we can't oh oh fuck oh link come on i need you to fall just a little bit come on fall forward there we go Now take all that air and all right okay good so if we can take this here and then if I can keep going Hold on, I need to get some air. Yeah. Then go down this pathway. And then this should be it. Right? Yes. Boom. Dunzo. Okay. Well, will you take me all the way up now? I do need the lift. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, we're outside the barrier. Oh, now we're inside the barrier. Okay, I have no idea what this is gonna summon, but, um, let's, uh, actually, hold on. I just wanna... There. I like the Tunica Memories, but this completes the outfit. Also... Yeah. Let's do this. Oh, I have to do it from the other side. My bad.
You have tra traversed this maze. Mark well my words. I have pulled apart the bars on the labyrinth of the land that obstructs your path below. Oh, right. From high above to far below, prove your courage by diving into the depths of the earth. The final way shall open to you. I forgot there's a third part, the depths. I was like, man, maybe I could get all... Like, if these are just side quests and not side adventures, maybe I'll be able to do them all in this video. Uh, fuck no. Because, like, we're almost halfway through this recording session already, and, like, I'm only getting to the third part of this labyrinth now. So I think what I'll do is I'll do this labyrinth, and then we'll do some light routes, maybe. So in Breath of the Wild, ooh, in Breath of the Wild, this would bring you... This would bring you down to Lome Depth Labyrinth. In Breath of the Wild, this would take you to a place with all the guardians, but I guess now it comes down all the way down here. Alright. So now we're in the Depth Labyrinth. It says the path will open for you. It doesn't tell me what I'm supposed to be doing. I guess I'm supposed to be, you know, I guess killing this thing. That's probably definitely one of the things I have to do. Ah, Construct 3, eh? Where's your head? Oh, jeez, you're already doing the stompy stomp. Come on, take it out, take it out, take it out! Damn, okay. I don't want to use this on you. Mm, might as well. It's just a flux construct, like... Oh, hold on. I don't want to waste my good stuff on a flux construct. They're a bunch of chumps. Oh, <laughs> I call him a chump and he immediately smacked me. No, come back. Oh, bitch. Here we go. See, you don't even need that much to, like, even the Flux Construct 3, which is the most powerful one I know of, it's still pretty much a bitch. Got some good loot, though. Okay, so, now, what'll this do for me? Is this the end? You have traversed this labyrinth of the depths. This trial was a test of your talents. In overcoming it, you've shown yourself to be strong of body and skill and mind. In my name as the ruler of dragons, I commend your achievement and offer a fitting reward. Armor weathered in otherworldly evil, hidden away since days of old. Take it now. Ooh, are we getting armor for these? Hmm. Well, since the depths one was very quick, I might. Do, well, we'll we'll attempt one of the other ones. We'll see. Evil spirit armor. Oh. So we're just getting the phantom Ganon armor. I mean, that's cool, but at the same time, kind of sucks. I mean, I went through... Hold on. Yeah, we... There should be a light route here, somewhere. Is that the way I came? That must be the way I came, because this way is lighter, or darker. 
I'm just saying, like, the Phantom Ganon armor, that's cool and all, but really, that's the reward. That's the reward for doing all this bullshit. Just saying. It's a little mean. Oh, hello. Oh, it's a night charge. Oh, okay. Well, there's gotta be a light route somewhere. Because, obviously, there's, you know, darkness here that needs to be dispelled. Oh, and I think I might have found it. Just gotta get out of here. Ooh, a treasure chest. Uh, okay, I have room for that, right, because my weapon broke last time. So there should be a light route somewhere around here. I don't know where exactly. Oh, it's over here. Figured it'd be on the top, because the other ones were on top, or at least the one in the Gerudo Desert's on top. There we go. Alright. Well. This was fun in all. But it was a little... I don't know. I like the challenge, don't get me wrong. And it was a side quest and not a side adventure, so I shouldn't have expected that big of a reward. But, I don't know, man. Because the labyrinth's here and, like, I'm talking to, like, the Master of Dragons or some bullshit. And he's telling me to go do these labyrinths and whatnot. And I would just think that we would get something. Anything other than... Oh, the Phantom Ganon armor. But, I mean, I shouldn't judge until we get the full set, I guess. So, I'm gonna go... Oh, there's another treasure chest. Figured something was up here. We're gonna go do the Herba one next. Because we're I'm gonna do them in the order of, like, easy to hardest. Um, at least to me, personally. And I always found the one in Gerudo... I don't know what it is about the one in the Gerudo. I always have trouble with it. Like, I, I can never remember the entrance to the shrine in that one. So, this one was always the easiest to me. Because it's literally, I knew a shortcut. And then... With the Herba one, it was alright. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't easy either. So, we're gonna go try to do that one next. But we have to shoot our well way over there. Anything in here? No. So you just made it to this labyrinth here with uh, another guy here. Research log day one, Zonite glyphs carved into the stone slab read. The dragon ring slumbers in the labyrinth depths. Wake it and ye shall receive due compensation. Tower to decipher them, running off. Writing frankly, I see his absence as an opportunity. Any discoveries that may lie within will all be credited to me. My name will forever be tied to solving the mysteries of the Zonai civilization. I gather a hall of Hylian pine cones and I use them to mark the trail in places where I might otherwise get lost. Okay, so this time we gotta follow the Hylian pine cones. I like using my camera on these just in case there's something in them worth, you know, knowing. Oh, does it want me to use this to... Okay, hold on. Is, yeah, I learned that you could do that. Get over the gloom. I guess I, I guess I could pick them up because like the other guy, I thought he was gonna be waiting for me in the labyrinth. But then again, I don't really use the pine cones that much. Racer's log day two. I set out with great enthusiasm, but so far I haven't found anything other than an endless supply of bitter cold. If the zone I were doing were going to bother to carve a note into that slab, couldn't they have etched a few hints in there too? How long has that slab been at the entrance of the site anyways? It might be I might be remembering it wrong, but I don't think it was there before the upheaval. No, you're right. 
It was not there before the upheaval. Because the upheaval upheaved a whole bunch of shit. Okay, I'm gonna assume, yep. Yep. I have a keen eye ooh, for finding. Well, these are easier to spot because the pine cones, like. The pine cones are literally like brown in a snowy field. Let me guess my pine cones are gonna be way, way over here. Because I never use them, so they'd be at like the bottom of the list. There they are. Ooh, what's going on over here? Cause that definitely seems like something. Hold on. Yeah, treasure chest. Guess I didn't need to melt that ice, but. Ooh, another Zenite bow. Uh, yes, please. Okay, back to the task at hand. Anything in this ice? No, because they keep leaving this ice. Oh, wait, what? A strong Zonite sword. Okay, then, hold on. I'll get you out. Apparently, I don't have you in my compendium either, which is weird. I thought I had all the Zonite swords in my compendium already. There we go. Strong Zonite Sword. But I don't have any room for you, so... Pinecone. The other Pinecone over here. Yes. Pinecones. No, that's a dead end. Uh, dead end. Pine cones. I'm just gonna tank it because, like, we're on the surface, so it'll go away on its own. Day three. After shivering in the cold and cowering from the gloom, I finally made it. This pathway leads to the center of the ruins. There's a trail of lights here that's almost beckoning me in. It must lead to that due compensation the slab mentioned. My history making discovery is mere steps away. You can do this, me. If I if I find his like frozen, shriveled corpse, I'm gonna be very like uncomfortable, but not upset. <laughs> I don't know. It just seems like a like he probably froze to death out here kind of situation. There's nothing. There's nothing here for him. Like, cause he can't do the thing without me. I have the Zonai arm. Okay, so Trail of Lights, this one over here. Yes. Uh huh, yep. This way, right? Oh, a lot of gloom here. And then the entrance is above here. Is there anything in here? The Hylian pine cone is in the ice. That's funny. Anything in here? Oh, I don't remember that being here. Hold on. I don't remember this being here. Hold on. I'm... There has been a change in the status quo, and I demand to know what the fuck is happening. Oh my god, do I really have to... My god. The big box couldn't break through that. Yeah. If that box wasn't there in Breath of the Wild, I should know. I've played it a billion times. I've been here a billion times. A mighty Zonite sword. I don't know. Cause like if I paired it with the right if I paired it with the right horn, it could be like very powerful. I think this one's yeah, this one's also a mighty Zonite sword mixed with a horn. Uh let's 
drop this one, and then let's just see if we can't, like, do it. Because it depends on what Zonai construct horn we have. We have this, but I like to keep one of each, so I can't use that. I would have to use this. Can I take it out here? And that would give me that would give me a forty nine. Well, this one's this one's a forty five anyway, so I guess it works out. Oh, this is a forty four. Oh, well, that's a forty four. This is a forty five. I'm taking the forty five. You think it get like it does get bonus marks for me being construct horn, but I guess. Well, this one. Well, this one's got durability up. Maybe that's it. I don't know. Reach your log day four. I've done it at long last. I've done it. I found a relic of Zonai civilization. Through my euphoria, is short lived. In the hours since my discovery, I've tried touching, hitting, and yelling at the relic, but it remains unresponsive. I'm starting to fear that I may not unravel the secrets of Zonai after all. The only thought makes the cold even more bitter. Well, fine. I suppose it's time I crawl out of this frigid pit and issue my report on my investigations. Oh. Ow. Come on. It wasn't that big of a fall. Hold on. I gotta melt this stupid ice to get into this stupid fucking shrine. Okay, my god, why does it take so much? I mean, I know this one's a big one, but Jesus, I'm gonna run out of fire fruit. There we go, fuck. Okay, now where's the activation port? There it is. For you who have conquered this labyrinth of the land, I, the ruler of owls, have unlocked a door. Oh. Find it on the west side of the labyrinth in the sky. Okay. So now I'm talking to the Lord of the Owls, eh? Okay, well that's weird. Because didn't the, the Lord of the Dragon say that his was a test of courage? So I assume... No, it was, he said it was a test of wisdom. So I assumed, okay, well be a dragon throughout because the drag because dragons in Zelda or, or at least in Breath of the Wild you know the dragon is associated with courage the owl is associated with wisdom and then the boar is associated with power but we just talked to the dragon guy and he, he didn't he say that his was one of wisdom the owl hasn't said which one this is but you would think the owl would have give us the one of wisdom yeah Anyways, we gotta get up there with my flying machine. North Lomi Castle Top Floor. Okay, then. Let's just get on in here. Oh, this one's also low gravity. Oh. Bonk. There we go. And now, open your door. You who set foot in my labyrinth of the sky, I offer a test of wisdom. Okay, so they're all tests of wisdom? Four terminals are hidden in the maze, activate them all. Okay. So I take back what I said before, because I, I assume there was a little... The other one gave me a test of wisdom. What is this going to be a test of? I guess they're all tests of wisdom then. <laughs> oh, this one doesn't have a floor either. Well, crap. Well, where are the terminals? You didn't give me terminal locations. Right? Hold on. Activate the four terminals. There we go. Oh, I don't know why that was not selected, but whatever. Okay, so I have to...
pretty sure what I could do is go this way, right? This one's just a little bit complicated, but I think if I could pass through here, yes. Whoa, whoa. I could fly through here. And then, found the first terminal. Crap, come on. There we go. Alright. Now, hold on. Okay. So we gotta go this way. And with the air that we have, I believe it's this way, right? Yes. So we can go this way. And Bob's your uncle. We made it to the next terminal. I think this one's going to be quicker a little because this one's a bit more condensed. I don't know. It just kind of feels like it's not as big as the last one. Because, like, we've only been here for, like, what, a minute? Two minutes? And I've already gotten the stuff. It does not give me a lot of air. But then again, we're going over here. And these things give us a lot of air. Now, this one... I don't know about this one, though. Let's go get this one first, and then we'll come back and try to get this one. Hmm. And this next one should be super easy, actually. Should be a straight shot. We just gotta go here. And then literally just all the way down here. I think it takes me more time to figure out the route than it does to actually take the route. There we go. Now we just gotta do the last one. Okay. I'm gonna backtrack a little. Hold on. I'm gonna grab some air. There we go. That way we can come back this way. It can't be as easy. Oh, I went the wrong direction. Wanted to go down here. No? Huh. Because there's a box here. Okay, well, what happens if I do go down this way? Not this way. Yeah, this. No, not this way. The other way. Yeah, the other way is too high for me, I think. Fuck. Hold on. Here we go. Yeah, I was wondering what happens if I do go down this way. Ah, oh, it's a treasure chest. Maybe I have to tackle it from the front? Eh, it's a 50. Not worth it. Uh, so I guess we'll back travel to the front. Wait, hold on. 
Oh, I think I just found the passageway here. Yep. Okay, well, I was on my way back to the front and just stumbled upon it. Alright, then up we go. And examine. To you who tra travers with my maze, mark my words well. I have pulled apart the bars on the labyrinth of the land that obstructs your path below ground. From high above to far below, prove your courage by diving into the depths of the earth. Well, I guess the final way shall open. So I guess technically, these uh, ru these mazes are a test of both of both of all three: wisdom, courage, and power. Because takes wisdom to get all this way here then it takes courage to jump down from here to the depths below and then it took me power in order to defeat the construct at the bottom so the wait before we do go let me turn my shrine sensor because the last one there was a shrine at the end right no no there was not there wasn't a shrine in the sky i'm a dumb dumb hold on Ooh. All right. So the chasm should be right here. Whoop. Yeah. Uh Oh, God damn it. Okay. So now... We have to find our way down to the guy and defeat him. Right? Flux construct. Yep. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna beat this guy real quick, and then, uh... We'll get onto it. And there we go. You see, yeah. So it, t it takes wisdom to go through the maze, courage to jump down into the depths, and then power to defeat the thing at the end, even though the guy doesn't mention power at all. Now where is... There it is. You have traversed this labyrinth of the depths. This trial was a test of your talents. In overcoming it, you've shown your strong body, mind, skill, and mind. In the name of the ruler of owls, I commend your achievement and offer a fitting reward. 
Armor weathered and otherworldly evil. Hidden away since days of old. Take it now. Alright. Let go, Link. Okay, so... Let me guess. It's gonna be another piece of the... Evil Spirit Cleaves. I like that they're calling it Evil Spirit now instead of just Phantom Ganon. That's what it is, right? Yeah. Just the Phantom Ganon set. Alright, so I'm gonna look for the light route, because there's gotta be a light route here, because there's a light route at the other two, so there has to be one here. And if... If this is anything like the other ones, it would be on the top, because the other two were on the top, so... Ah, yeah, I was right. Alright, we'll grab this. Though it looks like this one opens... Oh, well, I guess it would normally open up. The other one opens up into the depths. The other one was isolated because it's out in the water. Oh. Light rude, dispel the darkness, brown the area. Well now we know where another light well, actually, that one I could mark because on the way to this labyrinth I did come across this shrine here. So I guess that would be that. Alright. So uh we did it. We did it. We did it. Yeah. We did two of the three labyrinths. I would have liked to do all three, but I'm not fast enough to do all three in, in just one video. So we will be doing the last one in the next video. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the dark side of the moon. Bye!